YouTube, how's it going? Frogs Angels back with another top 100 review. Another week, they went from 60 to 51 on the top 100 review on NFL Network. And I got a lot to talk about this about this week's reveal. Don't really agree with a lot of these. There's a lot to talk about. So let's get into number 60 is going to be Derek Carr. Now, it's a 28. I always was confused on if this is based on last year, if it's for this year. It always seems like it's a mixture. It's always a debate. Um, but it says 2018 rank. So for this year, Derek Carr, 60. I don't know if I have a big problem with him being that high going into this year. But honestly, I think Derek Carr has it in him. I think he's a good quarterback. He's only shown one solid year, and it was the year he got hurt at the end of it, uh, which was unfortunate. But I need to. I still need to see more from Derek Carr. Now, a lot of people disagree with me on that. I do need to see more. 60 maybe is a little high, especially from last year. Didn't do much, and he needs to stay healthy and needs to play at a higher level like he did two, two seasons ago, which I know, he, again, I, I think he can do it. I just need to see more is basically – what I'm trying to say here. So a little high for me at 60. Uh, let's keep going on here. 59, Casey Hayward, one of the better cornerbacks in football. Maybe a little low uh, for him. I could have put him a little higher. Um, not that big of a deal, though. But corner is such an important position in today's NFL. It's so hard to play. And the guy that covers number one wide receivers on a weekly basis, I think, should be ranked higher. But uh, we got a couple corners on this list, and... I'm going to go more into that, but him being 59 is too low. He needs to be higher ranked in my opinion, but not that big of a deal, but we'll talk about it, about the corners in general a little bit here. At number 58, uh, the, the player was Leonard Fournette. Uh, I'm okay. This is maybe one of the ones I'm okay with uh, here. Obviously set out some games, injury concerns, other stuff. So, uh, I mean, he, I think he's going to eventually be much higher in this, be ranked much better from what he puts out in the field. But for right now, I'm okay with 58. I think he could be a top running back in the league going forward. I think he'll be the guy. I think he, we, unless there's some crazy injury, I think he will be playing and starting every single Sunday as everyone else expects. So I think we're all expecting more from Leonard Fournette. Had a hell of a rookie season, though. I'm, I'm solid with 58. I'm okay with 58. 58 for uh, Leonard Fournette there. On to 57, number 57 was Trent Williams. Another one another one of those guys that uh, if it's based on last year, this is too high. But in general, I, I always thought Trent Williams was m maybe the best left tackle in football, maybe the best offensive lineman in football. I guess you can't say that at this time because he didn't play a lot last year due to injuries. But he's a hell of a left tackle. I think that's why it's tough. I don't think 57 fits him because if it's – if we're talking about last year, it should be lower. It probably shouldn't be on here. If we're talking about going forward and in general, he you could see he was 47 last year. That was probably too low for him last year. I, I think he's one of the best, maybe if not the best, offensive lineman in football. Left tackle being the most important position on the offensive line. So I'll, I'm a big Trent Williams guy. He needs to stay healthy. He needs to stay on the field. But again, this is more of the top 100 confusion. I really want to see... Who, who everyone voted for. They say the players voted for him. I want to know what players. I want to know if they actually voted for him. It's kind of interesting. Because I think, yeah, obviously, the players agree that Trent Williams is very good. So I'm guessing some of the players didn't even think of him because he didn't play a lot last year. And some of the players are like, they remember him going up against him, and he's maybe the best tackle in football. So he kind of kind of got averaged out to the 50s range, 57, obviously. So it's weird. I don't really like these rankings, but it's, it, they're fun. They're, I guess they're fun to see, interesting, something to talk about. So, uh, But there's more to go over, more that I disagree with. 56, Phillip Rivers, the quarterback from the Chargers. I think he had a hell of a season. I still think he's playing at a, at a high level. I think 56 is too low, uh, maybe not in a, way too low or anything, so I'm not going to argue about that much. Uh, we'll come back to him, another quarterback on this list. We'll, we'll talk about Phillip Rivers more when we get to him. 55 is Xavier Rhodes, the corner from the Minnesota Vikings. Now, this is where this is where I started to get a little frustrated with this list. Xavier Rhodes should only have one or no corner ahead of him on this list, on any list, and that would be Jalen Ramsey. That's maybe. I would maybe have Rhodes ahead of him even. And so we don't know who what quite yet. There's another one on this list. We don't know what corner is ahead of him. 
um, but there's for sure at least one on this video. Um, so that's one part of it. Another part is 55 is too low. Just like I talked about Casey Hayward, uh, the number one corners team goes against the top receiver every week, and not to mention he's played he played Antonio Brown's Julio J Antonio Brown Julio Jones last year. Mike Evans shut those guys down, just completely shut them down. It's it's insane that he's 55. Being the corner is maybe the corner position is maybe the hardest position to play. Talk about quarterbacks got to be number one, but number two is corner. Some people may even consider corner number one. And I wouldn't really disagree with it. I play the position; it's very hard. But you got to put a quarterback at one, and for him to do what he does, him to be that physical, that fast, and just be that dominant week in, week out, in 55 is just a, just a joke, in my opinion. Um, where would I put him? Easily top 30. We can even talk about top 20. But the bigger problem, and we'll, we'll get to in a second. 54 Zeke Elliott, another another one of those discussions. If it's last year, he shouldn't be on the list. If it's if it's in general, or if we're talking about what he's going to do this year, he should be much higher. So you can see last year was seven. Seven's too high, definitely too high. But you can see he should be much higher than fifty four. If we're talking about twenty eighteen rank and the twenty eighteen NFL season is upcoming, fifty four. If you're going to talk about last year, you shouldn't be on here. That's why this list makes no sense. I I I'm just not really getting it. So I mean, I'll eventually make rankings by position we're going to talk maybe top 10 offense players top 10 defense players i'll go my top 10 players in football maybe we'll make that a little bigger list i think it's going to make more sense obviously it's my opinion i think it makes way more sense we'll see what you guys think we got all kind of coverage coming but just confusing list very confusing list 53 is a keep to leave now a keep to leave i liked i i viewed him as the number one corner before but not any time recent 53, I actually don't have a problem with 53, maybe a little high. I have a problem with him being ahead of Xavier Rhodes and Casey Hayward. It's mind-blowing. I mean, it, it's mind-blowing that he's ahead of Casey Hayward, but the, the fact that he's ahead of Xavier Rhodes is just insanity. Who voted for this? I do not think players voted for this. Um, I, I really don't. I, I really don't think the players, would. if we polled all the receivers in the NFL – I do not think they said that a keep for 2018 or even for if it's 2017, a keep to leave was pulled better than Xavier Rhodes or Casey Hayward. Um, to leave still good, but he's on a decline. But again, don't get me wrong, he's still good. I once viewed maybe three years ago, four years ago, viewed him as the top corner in football. So it, it's very interesting, very very interesting. And then 52 was Jarvis Landry. I I think. Like I said, I didn't really have a problem with Fournette. Maybe this one I don't really have a problem with either. Uh, there's another debate looking at the other receivers behind him, Stephon Diggs, Michael Thomas. Are, are, is he for sure better than those guys? I don't have a problem with him being ahead, but I know other people maybe do. But Michael Thomas was too low. Thinking about it now, he was too low. Should be much higher because um, he, he's right there, maybe better than Jarvis Landry. So we will see. And then going to be on the Browns, what do we get to expect? It's hard to tell. This list is pretty... Pretty confusing, I guess, but I'm okay with Jarvis Lines. But then Case Keenum's number 51. Now, Case Keenum had a hell of a season, obviously leading the Vikings to the NFC Championship game. Um, so I, 51's a little high. Him being ahead of Phillip Rivers is, is, is interesting. I guess it's not that big of a deal. It's not as bad as Tlaib being ahead of Rhodes and Hayward. But I don't think Keenum should be ahead of Phillip Rivers. But he had a hell of a season. But then you kind of go back and look. There's times where the Vikings could have been there. You could see they were lacking a better quarterback. Not that not that Keenum's not good, but you can see the deeper throws he would miss. But, I mean, at the end of the day, he did make big-time plays and get them to the NFC Championship game. So I'm not going to complain about 51 too much. It's just it's weird seeing him ahead of Rivers. So let me know what you guys think. On the Broncos, too, without Thielen and Diggs, will he be as good? I think he can be. Uh, he does have some pretty good targets. Broncos had a great offseason. Um, I think he can be as good, but if I had to put money on it, I think uh, his career year will be last year with the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, so we will see. Again, is this list predicting this year? Is it the players voting on who will be the best this year? Is it players voting on 
who they played against. You know, every player doesn't play against every player every year. They, they Maybe it's stuck in their mind on who they played against three years ago. It's only a certain amount of players get pulled. Every player doesn't get pulled. It, it's This list is kind of messy. It's kind of messy, and I don't really like it. Um, we're going to keep going on with our videos, though. Every week we will have uh, the recap of the top 100 just like we did here. Uh, I'm still ranking duo, position duos, uh, so if you haven't seen any of those, check them out. we got more to come. Uh, position by, by position rankings to come. we got uh, best player of each team, offense, defense-wise, maybe a, bre a breakout player for each team. We're going to start going into predictions for this year, team by team, eventually get to division by division. Then playoffs, who do, who do we think is going to make the, really, who's going to win the Super Bowl, in our opinion. we got plenty of stuff scheduled, so thanks for everyone's support. We continue to bring you this because of you guys you guys gave us support our jump from last year this year was just great i didn't expect to be able to keep on doing this on a daily basis but we can thanks to you guys our next goal is 10k subscribers long way to go but we can make it happen so please like subscribe if you haven't already that'll do it for this one goodbye